Right, part five. Um, commitment, look at the weather, it looks sunny, but it's quite cold. Um, growth, today, growth of muscles, growth of flexibility, growth of balance, growth of mindset, growth of just improving our training. Doesn't matter what you do, if you can add stretching to that, if you can add mindset to that, you're only gonna grow, you're gonna improve, you're gonna feel better, you're gonna generally in life hopefully be happier. Learning how strong this is, it's not this and this that needs to be strong, this is the most powerful part of you and this is what can make you feel good from the inside out, that can portray goodness, that can achieve the goals and the dreams that you want to achieve is getting control of this a little bit. And if I can help you switch that mind off for 30 seconds, then we're on a winner and we're growing and we're improving. So today we're gonna to look at growth. We're gonna put all the things together that we've already done, which you've done amazing, so you've already grown. Hopefully you're feeling better already. We're gonna add some balances. We're gonna add some difficulty. We're gonna add more floor stuff. Um, hopefully you're just gonna enjoy it. Uh, so we're gonna move together. Sometimes you've got to get out of your comfort zone to grow, so taking on this new challenge of a bit of yoga and it's gonna help you grow, I hope. So we're gonna start on our backs in Shavasana. So lying down. Snuggle at bottom, snuggle the shoulder blades, bring your hands to your tummy. Let your whole body go heavy realize this time is for you. Just for you. Switch off. Try and move as much as you can with just my voice. Believe in yourself that you know some of the positions that I'm telling you. Trust it and we'll move together. Come to that breath, that pranayama. And take Three breaths, in through the nose and out through the mouth. Just let everything go as you breathe out. Breathe in, fill up. Breathe out through your mouth. Let all your tensions go. Realize this time is just for you. And again, breathe in. Breathe out through your mouth. Release those shoulders, release that face. One more. your time, no pressure. Do what you can, what your body is going to allow you to do today and be proud of yourself. Gently press your lips together, put the tongue to the roof of your mouth. In through your nose and out through your nose. If you can make your breath audible as you breathe out, it will help you focus. It should sound like the wave of the sea. We're using that breath to move, that breath to release those muscles and to focus that mind. Check in with your body, is there any tension anywhere? Find it, release it, let that out breath release that tension. Let's open up that body before we start moving. Bring your knees into your chest, give yourselves a hug. A gentle rock from side to side, over that lumbar spine. Are you still breathing? Maybe count, slowly, two or three in, two or three out. Again, relax that face. Take your hands, put them to your kneecaps, you can do big circles with those knees. Say hello to those hips. the other way. Stay with that breath. Let's waken up that core. Lift hands and feet to the sky. Circle your wrists and your ankles. And the other way. 
stay with that breath. Tailbone is grounded on the floor. Feet are above hips, hands are above shoulders. Take a big inhale. On an exhale, drop opposite arm and leg. Sounds easier, might not be if not done before. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, lower opposite arm and leg. Inhale to center, move with your breath. Try and keep that lumbar spine, lower spine on the floor. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Slow the breath down, slow the movement down. Hello, core. One more. Bring those knees back in, one little hug. Take your hands behind your kneecaps. We're gonna rock and roll. If it's not comfortable in your spine, don't do so. Just sit yourself up if it is. Have a little rock and roll. Maybe a couple of times on your right side. A couple of times on your left. When you're ready, sit all the way. We're up, hands and knees. <coughs> Set yourself. Hands under shoulders. Hips over knees. We're going to warm up these wrists. So on an inhale, we're going to push our chest forward. So our shoulders are coming in front of our wrists. On an exhale, we push back. So we're opening up those wrists. Inhale, push your shoulders forward. Exhale, push your hips back. Keep your tummy tight. Keep that belly button sucking into your spine. So we're holding that core strong. Don't dip. Keep this all strong like you're in plank. We're just trying to move with that breath and open up these wrists. Come back to centre. Turn your fingers out. So they're facing out with both hands. Gonna rock from side to side again. Focus on that breath. The movement's minimal. Move as much as you need to to get some movement through those wrists. Everybody's different. Last one. Turn your fingers back to face your knees. This may be enough. If this is enough, just breathe. It's not quite enough. Sit your bottom back, feel the stretch in your wrists. Use that breath to release those muscles. As you breathe out, imagine them releasing. Come on, two more breaths. Turn your hands back round to face the front. Core again. Take your left leg back, toes on the floor. Extend it. If this is enough, leave it here. If you can, lift your right arm like you're shaking someone's hand. Stay here if this is enough. If not, lift that left leg. You should be in a straight line. Toes pointing down on that left foot. Push through that left hand. Push through that right knee. Stay with that breath. If you're shaking, don't worry, it's totally normal. Come on, one more breath. Exhale, release. Other side, take the right toes back. Extend and engage that leg. Lift your left hand like you're shaking someone's hand. This is enough, stay here, stay engaged in that core. If you can, push through the hand and the knee. Lift that right foot, toes pointing down, flexed foot. Make sure your hips are even, your shoulders are even. Stay with that breath. One more. Bring it down, beautiful. Sit your bottom back to child pose, balasana. Relax your head between your shoulders. Rock your forehead from side to side. It's an active child's pose, so reach those fingers forward. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Sit your bottom back on your heels. Can you visualize that breath? Can you feel your tummy raising and lowering on your thighs? 
from here, weight into hands, tuck your toes, push your bottom up. So you're coming into a triangle, are your fingers spread? Push through both hands evenly, pedal through those knees, so bend one knee, bend the other, opening up those hamstrings, those calves. Maybe look under either arm here. Walk your hands back to your feet. Bend your knees, hug your thighs. Let your head go. Push the bottom up to the sky. Only push yourself as much as you can until you're warm. No stress. Your tummy, your chest should be on your thighs now. Hands down, walk out, high plank. One breath. Come on, it's gotta get harder, otherwise what's the point? Walk your hands back to your feet. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Hold on to either elbow. We're gonna rock from side to side. Opening up, lengthening that spine. Lengthening those legs. One more, walk those hands out, a high plank. This time, you're gonna walk your feet to your hands. Bend as much as you need to, forward fold. When you're ready, take a big inhale, reach up, fill up. Exhale, Samus DTE, you're at the top of the mat. Welcome, this is our home, remember, Samus DTE. Rock backwards and forwards on those feet. Feel the growth of those roots through the earth. Use the strength of the earth, trust it, to make you strong, effortlessly so. Engage your calves, lift your kneecaps, engage your thighs. Tuck your tailbone towards your heels. Lift your rib cage. Lift your shoulders up to your earlobe, draw them back and down as your shoulder blades drip down your spine, palms towards the front. Tuck your chin, lift the crown of your head. Close your eyes and come to that breath. Fill the body up. Let it go. You are effortlessly strong. Your spine has grown. You are tall. So, Osuro Namaskar, we've been doing A. We're going to move to B. Don't stress, you'll get it easy version to start with but we need to start a different way and it's a bit different in the middle work with me we're going to bend our knees we're going to brush our knuckles on the floor and we're going to come up into a chair so imagine you're sitting on a chair behind you shoulders away from your ears look up at your fingertips knees are tracking forward weight evenly through your feet tailbone down knees tracking forward this is not easy this is fierce posture chair posture but you're sitting on an invisible chair on your next exhale you're going to forward fold again bend your knees as much as you need to inhale halfway lift you know these flat back squeeze your shoulder blades together look to the earth exhale fold hands down fingers are spread step step from here you lower your knees keep your toes tucked lower your chest bum up as you inhale push your chest forward untuck your toes push your groin into the floor Exhale, push back, child's pose. See, you remember some of these. Our practice is growing. From here, tuck your toes, push your bum back. So we're making a triangle. Pushing your bum back. Imagine someone's pulling your bottom back. Bend your knees if you need to. Push your chest back towards your thighs. Shake your head just and no. Fingers should be spread. Push into the fingertips, into the knuckles, into the heels of the hands. Stay with that breath. From here, this is where it mixes up. Right foot forward, not too far. Drop the left heel. Inhale, lift, warrior one. Settle into the shape, check it. Front knee should be bent, right knee. Back foot should be grounded. Engage the left leg, so straighten it. Look up at your fingertips, relax your shoulders away from your ears. 
On your next exhale, bring your hands to frame your foot. Step back, high plank. Lower your knees. Exhale, lower your chest. Bottom is up. Inhale, push your chest forward, untuck your toes. Exhale, lower. Tuck your toes, push back to downward dog. Reset your feet if you need to. Take one breath. Other side, left foot forward, right foot 45 degrees, drop the back foot. Inhale, lift your arms, check in. Front foot, track it, knee tracking forward. Ground the back foot, engage the right leg. On your next exhale, frame the front foot, step back, high plank. Lower your knees, lower your chest. Untuck your toes as you inhale, lift that chest. Exhale, lower. Push back, downward dog. Beautiful, a bit warmer now. Keep those knees bent as long as you need to. If that's your top bit, that's what we're trying to open. So don't push too much. Come to some stillness. Try and get even weight between your hands and feet. Relax that head always. Come to that breath. From here, bend your knees, look towards your hands, step, step to your hands. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, back to the first position. Bend your knees, brush your knuckles, chair. Use your tailbone, point you down. Is there even weight between your feet? You look into your fingertips. Shoulders back and down. Exhale, Samasthiti. Beautiful. We're going to do that again. Bend your knees, brush your knuckles, chair. Hold it. Two breaths. On an exhale, forward fold, straighten your legs as much as you can. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Exhale, hands down, step, step or jump. Yeah, chaturanga, you can lower your knees, lower your chest. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, lower. Push back to downward dog. Beautiful, reset your feet if you need to. From here, step your right foot forward, left heel down. Inhale, lift, warrior one. Two breaths. Straighten that back leg. Bend for front knee. On an exhale, hands down, step back, high plank. From here, you can chaturanga, so that's all the way down to 90. Push forward to roll over your toes. Inhale, look up. Exhale, tuck your toes, push back. That chaturanga can be knees, chest, or half press up. Push forward to roll over your toes. Left foot forward, right foot 45. Inhale, lift. Straighten that back leg. Bend that front knee. This is warrior one. Stay with that breath. Exhale, hands down. Step back, high plank. So knees, chest, or lower halfway. As you push forward, inhale, roll over your toes. Roll over those toes. Lift your chest, squeeze your shoulder blades. Exhale, tuck your toes. Push your bum up. Like someone's trying to pull your bottom backwards. Push through those hands. Push that chest back. Ease those heels down. It's brilliant. Stay with that breath. It's not easy. If the first time it's hard, you can always do it again. It only gets easier like anything with practice. Don't expect to do it the first time. Bend your knees, look towards your hands. Step, step or float. Land lightly, halfway left. Exhale, fold. Chair pose, bend your knees, inhale, one breath. Exhale, Samastiti. You've got this, no stress if the rest didn't pull off. Let's do one more. Bend your knees, brush your knuckles, inhale, lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, hands down, step or jump. Chaturanga, so you bend your arms halfway. Push forward, roll over the toes, squeeze your shoulder blades. Exhale, tuck your toes, push back. Brilliant. 
Right foot forward, left foot 45, drop the left heel, lift. If you're struggling with balance here, it's because you're trying to do a tight break. Take your back foot out so you're on train tracks. Tuck that tail. On an exhale, bring the hands down, step back. Chaturanga, bend halfway. Push forward on an inhale. On an exhale, tuck your toes, push back. Other side, left foot forward, right foot 45. Inhale, lift. This takes a long time to be able to step through like that. Your stance doesn't need to be wide, just enough to get up. On an exhale, hands down, step back. Chaturanga, halfway. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, tuck your toes, push back. Beautiful. Bend your knees, push your chest back. Relax that head. Even weight between hands and feet. Come back to that breath. It's really good. Push the heels down a little bit more. Push into the hands. When you're ready, bend your knees, look towards your hands. Step or jump. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend your knees, brush them up from the chair. Stay with that breath. Exhale, so let's be to be brilliant. Drop that foot in forward, come back to that breath, tuck that tailbone. It's really nice. Super hard, this is super hard, you're doing amazing. So we're gonna to come to some warriors with an adaptation. You know some of these. Smile, come on. Step, big step back to that right foot. Turn so your hips are facing sideways, bend into that front knee. Front knee tracking forward, inhale, raise your arms, relax your shoulders. Drishti viewpoint over the front fingertips. Tailbone down, don't lean forward, stay upright. Sit a little deeper. Ground the back foot, ground that right foot. You know it, flip the front palm. Reach forward, reverse your warrior. Keep bent in that front knee. Sit a little deeper. Back to warrior two, don't move that front knee, relax the shoulders. Straighten that front leg. Reach forward, so pop your back hip back. Come down. So that left hand's on the inside of the left shin. Reach up, so make a T with your arms. Look up at your right fingertips. Try and increase the length between the crown of your head and your tail. Just trying to lengthen that spine. If you find you're curling over, come up a bit higher or lower. It's not about how far you go. We're trying to open that chest, take a twist in the body. From here, you're gonna bend that front knee, bring the elbow onto the knee and reach over your head. Side angle. Breathe, lift that top shoulder. So we're gonna get funky. Look at the floor. Take that left hand about a foot or so in front of that foot. Hop the back foot in. And we're going to try and lift that back foot up. Lift the top arm. This is half moon. Flex that back foot. If you're balanced here, look out to the side. Strength through that grounded foot. Stay with that breath. If you fall out, no stress, come back in. Flex that foot, engage that standing leg. When you're ready, bring the right foot to meet the left. Fold, bend your knees. Let your body be heavy. On an inhale, reach up. Look up, fill up. Exhale, so it's beautiful. Falling over is part of the fun. Don't get stressed or beat yourself up, it's a slippery slope. If you fall out, come back in. It's all new. Set the left leg back. Yeah. Left foot parallel to the back of the neck. Warrior two. Bend the front leg. Body facing sideways, fingers out. Knee tracking forward on that right leg. Looking over the right fingertips. Sit a little deeper. 
make sure that left leg is engaged, it's straight. Relax that left shoulder. Flip the front palm, reach forward, reverse your warrior. Bring the hand above your head. Stay bent in that front leg. Wobbles are welcome. Sit a little deeper. Come back to your warrior two, don't move that front knee, relax your shoulders back and down. Use that front knee tracking forward, don't grasp on with your toes. Straighten that front leg, reach forward, come down to the inside of that shin, reach up with that top hand. Relax your shoulders away from your ears, stay with that breath. Lengthen between your tail and the crown of your head, push your shoulders away from your ear. Lift that chest. Bend into that front knee, elbow onto the knee, bring that arm over the head. Shoulder away from your ear. Look up. Bend a little deeper. Ground that back foot to engage in that back leg. Look down. Bring your hand out a foot or so. Hop that back foot in slowly. Don't jump into it. Push through the grounded foot. Lift that top hand. Flex your back foot. Trying to make a line. Keep the legs straight on your fingertips. If this isn't possible, you can hover. Or you can try and use a book or something under your hand. Stay strong. If you fall out, come back in. One more breath. When you're ready, bring the lifted foot to meet the standing foot. Forward fold. Let your body just fall over your legs. On your next inhale, reach up, put up. Exhale, Samasthi to you. Give your legs a little wriggle. Well done. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to come to some balances. I'm going to face you, as you can see. I'm also going to give myself an excuse because this is very hard when you're talking. So, we're going to ground through our left leg. Rely on the strength of the ground. You know how strong it is. We are going to bring those hands to prayer. So you're pushing your palms together. Your thumbs are at your heart. We're in the middle of your chest. We're going to bend that left knee. You can bring it three places. You can bring it so the toe is on the floor. Your knee is pushing out to the side. You can bring it on your shin. Or you can give it a hand and bring it up here. Be where you're comfortable. I can't do that. So be here or here. The key with balance is not getting stressed and staying with that breath. Try and make yourself as tall as possible. Pick a drishti, a viewpoint, in front of you that's not moving. Relax your shoulders. You can try and grow your tree. Lift your arms. Branches. If you fall out, no stress, come back in. Bring your hands to prayer above your head and let them go behind your necks. Your elbows are pointing up. Feel the opening of those triceps. Stay with that breath. Laugh if you fall over, come back in. Release those hands. Bring them down to your waist. Straighten that front leg, flex the foot. Relax the shoulders, we're nearly there. Lift it a little bit higher. Exhale, release. Well done, give it a shake. Woo -hoo. Other side, you know what's coming. One side will be easier than the other. Don't stress. Pick that viewpoint in front of you. Put the weight into that right leg. Positions not on your knee. Sole of your foot on the ankle calf or thigh. Bring your hands to prayer. Turn that knee out. Come to that breath. Do not get stressed if you fall over. This is only a slippery slope. When you feel balanced, you can grow those branches. Stay 
stay with that breath, stay with the length. Bring your hands to prayer, drop them behind your neck. I am tall, I am strong. Fall out, come back in. Grow your branches. Bring your hands to your waist. Kick that leg out in front of you. Flex that foot. Lift it a little bit higher. And release. Well done. Give it a shake. I probably am a tree with all this wind. Come back to that breath. We're still at the top of our mat. So let's do TV. Come back to home. No stress if that bit wasn't for you. We're going to vinyasa, so we're going to do the easy one. I'm going to reach up, come with me. Exhale, forward fold, bend your knees. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, the one you know, hands down, step or jump. Yeah, chaturanga, bend your arms, halfway, push forward. Inhale, look up. Exhale, tuck your toes, push back. You're down my dog, beautiful. Come back to that breath. Push forward to high plank. Reset your feet if you need to. We're going to roll over into a side plank. So roll your feet over onto the sides of your feet. Put the weight into your hand. Doesn't matter which way. If this is uncomfortable, you can bend your bottom knee and kick it out like a kickstand. If not, stay on the sides of your feet. Lift the top hand. Stay here. If this is comfortable, you can always lift that top leg. Come on, one more breath. Release it down back to high plank. Other side, rock over onto your feet. Lift that top hand. Stay here, or if you feel strong, you can lift that top leg. Lift the hips. Stay with that breath. One more. Back to high plank. Push back to downward dog. Reset. You're doing amazing, it's not easy. Push forward to high plank. Lower all the way down. Come to your tummy. Take your hands down by the side of your body. Feet on that width. Come back to that one. We've done these lotus first. So on any inhale, you're going to lift your chest, lift your legs. Look up. Try and get those thighs off the floor. Get the chest up. Exhale, lower. Bend your knees. Hands by the side of you. You're going to lift your chest and lift your thighs. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. If you can, do the same again. If not, if you can reach. Reach round. Grab your feet or your ankles. Breathe into this. Let your thighs release. When you're ready, you're going to inhale. And you're going to kick your feet into your hands. So you kick them away from your bottom. Inhale, lift. Kick into your hands. Lift your thighs up off the floor. Breathe. Exhale, lower. Keep hold. We're going to try one more. Try and lift a little bit higher. This is bow. On an inhale, lift. Hold it. Breathe. Kick a little higher. Exhale, release. And let everything go. Come onto one cheek. Release. Come to that breath. Close your eyes. And breathe. You've done amazing. you're ready, bring your hands under your shoulders, push your bottom back, the last one. Come on, you know this one now, child's pose. You can rest here anytime, come back to your breath anytime. When you're ready, tuck your toes, push up, downward dog. I think we're nearly on our last downward dog, so push into it, push that chest back. Bend your knees, look towards your hands, you're going to step or jump your feet between your hands. Sit onto your bottom. We're down, we're down. 
this time I'm going to open our legs wide, so I'll turn to face you. Snuggle so you're both your sit bones on the floor. Flex your feet. Lift your spine. Lift your lumbar spine. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hinge forward. Try not to roll. Try and hinge. Just let your hands fall where's comfortable. Inhale for length. Push your crown of your head forward. Exhale to fold. It's no stress how far you get. We're trying to open up that body. Inhale for length. Exhale to fold. One more. Inhale for length. Exhale to fold. Inhale, reach up. Come down to what I like to call cuddle arms. Bring your right hand under your left thigh. Inhale, reach your left hand up. Exhale, come over to the side. So we're breathing in now to the left hand side of that body. Lift that top shoulder. Inhale for length. Exhale to fold. Breathe into the side of that body. Try and lengthen, lengthen, reach. Don't curl over, lift it up. Inhale, back to cuddle arms. Left hand, under, right leg. Inhale for length. Exhale, come over. Lift that top shoulder, flex those feet. Breathe into the right hand side of that body. Imagining that rib cage opening. Let something go. Inhale, back to center. Bring your feet together. So you would have been this way. We're gonna sit back, so we're on our seat bones. Lift your lumbar spine, I don't want any of this. We're gonna to come to Navasa, which is boat posture. Take your hands between your knees, lift your chest like someone's lifting you up. Rock back onto your sit bones, lift your toes, hold behind your knees. Lift your chest, no arching of your back, lift, breathe. Don't hold on too tight, it's just for support. Exhale, release, really good. We're gonna do that again, you can keep your hands there or you lift, try and straighten your arms and straighten your legs. It's not easy, be happy where you were. If that's enough, you will get stronger. One more breath. Exhale, release. Again, you can stay there. Be happy where you are. We're gonna do one more. Behind knees, straight arms, straight legs, or you can try and hold the outside of your feet. If it's not accessible for you, do not do so. Then you can try and straighten one leg. Try and straighten the other leg. Lift your chest, lift your lumbar spine. Breathe. If you can't reach your feet, don't do it. Stay with straight legs and straight arms. Look up, lift your chest. One more breath. Exhale, release. Beautiful. Give yourselves a shake. Really nice. So, our new thing we need to teach you. These are peace fingers, obviously. These are gonna come on the inside of your big toe inside and then wrap around like you're holding onto your big toe yeah so we're going to take those we're going to roll all the way back so we're going to come on to our back into our happy baby feet up towards the sky at right angles try and get your lumbar spine on the floor your lower back on the floor bend your knees let your whole body sink maybe bend into one leg bend into the other Right angle, soles of your feet up to the sky. It's so funny, it's called happy baby, but some people really struggle with this, it's not happy at all. Let go of your left toe, let the left leg come to the floor. Put your left hand on your hip flexor, on the top of your groin here. We're gonna lift our head up to our straight leg. So our right leg is in the air, we've got hold of it. We're lifting our chest up. Stay here and breathe. Flexing the left foot. Breathe. Release your head down. Then we're going to let that right leg come out to the side. If you need to bend it, you can, but try and let it go. Look out to the left, right leg coming down to the right. You have to trust yourself, your body's not going to snap. 
Relax it, relax that hip, let that leg go. Still flexing the left foot. Try and keep the left buttock grounded. Breathe into the tightness. Try and let the out breath release. Back to centre. Lift your head to your knee for one breath. Exhale, release. Beautiful. Shake those hips. Other side. Flex your right foot. Right hand on right hip flexor. Left leg to the sky. Peace fingers. Inside of big toe. Lift your chest up. Breathe. Still strengthening that grounded leg. Lifting that chest. Stay with that breath. Lift a little bit higher. Relax the head down, keep hold of the foot. Let the leg go out to the side. Again, if you need to bend it, no stress. If you can't grab onto the toes, you can always put like a belt around your foot or your dressing gown strap or anything. Try and keep that right hip grounded. Looking out over the right, the leg's coming down to the left. You're not gonna snap, trust yourself. Breathe in, let it go. When you're ready, back to center. Bring your head up to your knee. Take one breath. Exhale, release. Beautiful. Give the hips a little shake. Last little bit. Bring your heels into your bottom. Snuggle your tailbone under. Bring your right ankle to your left knee. So you're in a figure four with your knees. Gently push that knee away from you. Flexing your right foot. That right foot is on your left knee. Can you see that shape? When you're ready, let your legs fall to the left. So that right foot is on the floor. Your arms are out and look over to the right. So your feet are in the same position, but you've fallen over to the left. I don't know if that's easy. <coughs> Stay with that breath. Let your body be heavy. Let the muscles release. Try not to hold any tension. Imagine the body releasing, letting go. Back to center, one hug. Other side, right foot down, left foot on top of your knees. Turn that knee out. Put your left hand on your left knee, push it away from you. Your left foot is flexed and on top of your right knee. Your right foot is grounded to the floor. Stay with that breath. When you're ready, and drop your feet over to the right. Arms out, if you can, look out to your left. If you're in exactly the same position, the side of your right leg is on the floor. Your foot isn't on the floor, the side of your leg. Your left foot is on the floor. Let something go, let your body sink. Stay where you are. If this is not accessible for you, keep both feet on the floor and just bring them over to the side. You can just rock your knees over to the side, but still taking the twist, still releasing that spine. If you're in the twist, unravel, bring your knees in, give yourselves a hug. Bring your head up to your knees, squeeze everything in. Exhale, release. Shavasana. Snuggle your shoulder blades underneath you, snuggle your tail, tuck your chin. That was super hard today, hopefully not too complicated. If it was, you can do it two or three times. It will only get easier, I promise. Balances with focus, with breath, it's possible. You can do it. Relax your breathing now. Let your body feel heavy.
scan your body with me. Let your feet be heavy, fall out to the sides. Every muscle in your calves and your thighs is released. Your hips, your rib cage is heavy. There's no tension anymore. Your shoulders are relaxed and falling into the mat. Every muscle in your arms is relaxed, your fingers are curling in. The back of your head is heavy. Your jaw is relaxed, your tongue is relaxed. Every muscle on your face is relaxed. Your eyelids are heavy. And all you can see is the blacks of your eyes. Love yourself enough to create an environment in your life that can help, help you to improve your personal growth. Allow yourself to let go of people, thoughts and situations that poison your well-being. Make yourself a beautiful surrounding and commit yourself to making choices that will allow you to express the very best of you. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Take a big inhale through your nose and out through your mouth. Two more. Take your arms above your head, have a full body stretch. Bring your knees into your chest and give yourselves a big, big hug and a well done. Roll over to your right hand side and let your body sink. Keep your eyes closed. When you're ready, come up to a comfortable seat, trying to keep your eyes closed. Bring your hands to prayer. Optimism is a happiness magnet. If you stay positive, good things and good people will be drawn to you. Namaste. I know today was hard. Um, I really hope you felt like you've grown during the process. Don't forget, you can always go back, maybe repeat them all in sequence again and you will feel how, where you've come from and how much you've grown during the process. All part five, it's not gonna be easy. You've done amazing, um, try it again. See if it feels any better. Um, any questions, any problems, message me. Um, I'm here to help. I can give you um, modifications, anything you need. Um, but you've grown, you've come a long way. I hope you've switched off, I hope you feel good. I hope your body feels amazing. It's all a progression, right? Thank you very much. Thank you for being here.
well done.